It's been four years in the making and the Mahindra XUV500 is finally here. The cheetah-inspired design of the XUV is more than just eye-catching, it's extreme. There are cuts and curves everywhere. The designers have gone so far as to even sketch in a pair of whiskers on the front. The twin headlamps with projectors, LED parking lamps and static bending lamps look mean. The fenders are flared and muscular, and it does look like a big cat ready to pounce. At the rear too, the design has been overdone in parts, like the tribal motifs on the tail lamps or the rear wheel arch breaking into the window line. But overall, the design begins to grow on you. The XUV500 is definitely an attention grabber. The XUV500 has many firsts for a Mahindra vehicle. It's the company's first monocoque chassis, it's the first to sport a transverse engine layout and the first indigenous front-wheel drive SUV. Besides the loud design, what has made many sit up and take notice of the XUV is its price. The bright Tuscan red XUV W8 we are driving is priced at 11.95 lakh rupees at showroom Delhi. It's easy to see why the competition can get hassled with the XUV 500. It is a crossover loaded with features that make it better value than the Tata Aria, Skoda Yeti, Toyota Innova, Chevrolet Captiva and even the Ford Endeavour. The XUV is powered by Mahindra's tried and tested 2.2 litre diesel MHawk engine that now puts out 140 bhp of power and 330 newton meters of torque. It drives the front wheels through an indigenously developed six speed manual transmission. The gear shift is cable operated but the shift feel could be better and the throw is fairly long. It's interesting to see reverse gear in a position usually found on European cars. The engine is refined and noise does not intrude into the cabin except at high RPM. Ride and handling is the best on any Mahindra vehicle so far. The steering is light and precise and the vehicle actually feels compact and easy to handle in city traffic. The XUV accelerates quickly getting to three digit speeds easily. The suspension is fairly stiff, which is great for bad roads and reduces body roll, although you can still feel some of it. However, if you take some quick turns, you can feel some understeer, but the ESP kicks in to keep things under control. Braking is confidence inspiring, though one needs to get used to the brake pedal feel. What surprised us was the mileage that the XUV gave. Using cruise control and keeping a steady 70 km an hour for a long stretch in 6th gear, we managed to squeeze over 16 km per litre out of the XUV. The overall claim mileage is 15.1 km per litre. In crowded city traffic, we got over 14 km a litre. We must admit we weren't too happy with the choice of plastics for the centre console and some other parts of the interior. But the exhaustive feature list will take your mind off these small issues quick enough.
Starting with a touchscreen infotainment system that doubles up as a multi-information display showing average fuel consumption, tire pressure and reverse parking assist among others. You can pair up to 6 mobile phones with the system to not only make and receive calls but also stream music from your phone. Steering audio controls are easy to use. The system also has an inbuilt GPS navigation system with All India Maps from Map My India. When it comes to lighting, there's plenty of that on the XUV. Excellent projector headlamps and great throw from the high beam. Inside, you have individual LED reading lights for all rows. And then if that's not enough, you get lounge lighting and puddle lamps and warning lamps on all doors. Speaking of warning lamps, just check out the instrument panel. It lights up like a Christmas tree. The fuel gauge and temperature gauge are digital. There are more buttons to fiddle with. The vehicle has a start-stop system to save fuel, ESP and hill descent control. Hill hold function works with just a tap to the brake pedal on slopes, preventing the vehicle from rolling back for a couple of seconds. Power folding mirrors and automatic climate control are among the other creature comforts. The thing about the XUV 500 is plenty of space. Even the driver's seat is adjustable 8 ways. Lumbar support, fore and aft adjustment, recline as well as height adjust. The best place to be is actually the rear seat because there's just plenty of legroom and you can completely stretch yourself out and the seat reclines as well. Access to the third row is by folding the middle seat. Legroom in the third row is slightly cramped and best for city journeys. If you're going to travel a long distance, maybe you can just have the kids sitting in this row. It's better to keep the last row of seats folded onto the floor to free up luggage space, which otherwise is at a premium. The XUV 500 is a great feature-laden vehicle that's absolute value for money. It has good on-road manners, drives well and is quite comfortable for everyday city use as well as long cross-country road trips.